Hey guys, what is up? It's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super freaking happy to be back making videos like this right here. I miss this a lot, but I do want to say thank you to all of those who DM me, who message me, who emailed me about my previous video. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are honestly here to support me and to be there for me. So I want to say thank you guys so much from like the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all of you guys. So yeah, but enough of that sad stuff. As you can see by the title, I did cut my hair. I want to share with you guys my salon experience at Curl Bar. Curl Bar is located here in Toronto. Um, it's downtown. I will leave a link down below where you can, you know, find all that information. So yeah, let's get it on and pop in. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it was sometime last year I went to Curl Bar and I actually cut off all of my blonde ends literally everything chop 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 and i really really love my cut i enjoyed having shorter hair i really appreciated how easy it was to manage my hair my ends were immaculate so i was in love with my cut so this time i went to curl bar i didn't have those ends to cut off so i didn't really know what i wanted i just knew that i wanted more volume and i wanted my hair to be easier to manage so anyway i went into curl bar my stylist name was elizabeth reed i sat in the chair she introduced herself i introduced myself and the first thing that i noticed was that she was so 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 nervous like she was just like i don't know i don't know i'm like nervous to be on the camera da, 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 da. and like she already knew prior that she was gonna be on camera so i didn't see like what the big issue was but i guess she's obviously not used to it but um, I was just wondering like why is she so nervous like she was literally like sweating and everything so I was starting to freak out because I'm like okay so I'm having this nervous person this anxious person doing my hair like what if she messes up because last time I actually had somebody who was super confident she's like I know my ish da -da 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 -da, and she just did her thing this time I had to like really calm her down like I know like being on camera is a little bit awkward but just don't mind it just do your thing you cut hair for a living you do natural hair for a living like this should be easy i was just trying to like calm her down so she ended up you know taking down my hair kind of examining it i showed her a picture of what i wanted and of course my muse was mono's hair because she has the best volume in this entire world so showed her a picture of her she's like okay yeah i can do it so yeah she just took down my hair and kind of examined it and then she just started cutting away just cutting 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 so yeah she just started cutting my hair in the shape that i wanted she did it in sort of like sections and she did it on dry hair which i feel you know is the way to you know cut curly hair so you could see the shrinkage you could see the length and all of that so <music> during the whole process I was still a little bit nervous because she was so nervous and I was just like oh my gosh like what if she's getting scissor happy what if she just like cuts up my whole hair off what if my hair is like uneven and so much thoughts were running through my mind but at the end of it the way it looked it looked pretty pretty good so I was like all right like I feel so much better now I told her I wanted more of the strikely pieces off because I don't know what is up with my hair probably because I was stressed out probably because I haven't been taking care of my hair yeah, I had a lot of straggly ends, so I'm just like, cut that off. Cut that off. Okay, guys, so this is what my hair looks like so far. She did a dry cut, and I'm about to go wash it and style it, and hopefully it comes out bomb.com, so we're gonna see. So this is all my hair right here. Oh my goodness. 
It's a lot of hair. All right, so after she was done cutting my hair, we went on to shampooing and conditioning and all of that. I didn't get a deep condition, which was unfortunate because I really needed one. So when she was, you know, washing my hair and everything, it was the best feeling ever. It felt so amazing. She was just all up in my scalp, like working her fingers in there. It felt amazing. And the crazy thing is that I went in there with using bad products. Like the product mixture that I used was terrible. My hair was flaking like crazy. She was like, oh my God, like what kind of products are you using in your hair and stuff? I'm like, I know this is not like my normal mixture. I just messed up. So yeah, she had to clarify my hair and then she went in with the No Poo by Diva Curl. And then she went in with the One Condition by Diva Curl. And she really, really, really worked that into my hair. Um, and my hair felt amazing already. After she washed my hair out, she did section my hair off. I can't remember the products that she used, but I will let it pop up somewhere on the screen. And she used a little bit of a leave-in conditioner and then she put like a lot of gel on it, like a lot of gel. She's like, you need a lot of product. Your hair is super, super frizzy. And I'm like, I know that's just the way that my hair is. And I feel like, you know, finally somebody noticed that my hair is just frizzy. Like that's just what it is. Like people see me on the screen, you know, see me on YouTube and be like, oh my God, like your hair is so perfect, da 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 da. But they really do not understand that my hair is just frizzy like no matter what products I put in my hair no matter how I really you know do my hair my hair just has a lot a lot a lot of frizz and I don't know if that's because of like previous damage or whatever the case is or if that's just how my hair naturally is that's just what it is okay I have a lot of frizz and there's really not much I can do about it so yeah, she sectioned my hair off into pretty small sections, smaller than I usually do. And I think I'm going to start incorporating that method because I got a lot of definition from, you know, what she did. So she was raking the leave-in in, in there. She was raking the gel in there and she was just going ham, like really like, like raking it through my hair. She didn't do any smoothing methods or anything like that. She just raked the product through my hair and she added a little bit more moisture to my ends. So... Yeah, she did that in small sections throughout my entire head. And then after that, she put a little, she put some clips up here for volume. Um, I don't think I really need that because I have a lot of volume, but I guess because she put in so much gel, she put in the clips. And then I went off to sit under the dryer to let my hair dry. And I was sitting under there for probably about 30 minutes and my hair was still super, super, super wet. So after that, we went over and we diffused my hair. You know went to the side to the other side we did upside down so i can get some more volume and it still was not dry like it would not dry my hair was just not drying so i was in there for a really long time because i didn't want to leave with my hair wet because i want to see you know the volume in my hair i want to see how my hair would look dry so i was in there from like one to 4 or 5 p.m. which is okay because once my hair was dry and I seen how it looked or whatever I was like okay so we can cut off a little bit more there was like certain straggly pieces um, in the back and stuff like that so she went in again and she you know trimmed that off which I did appreciate as well and I was happy with my results my hair was super defined first of all I didn't get the volume that I wanted on the first day but when I tell you I don't know what technique she used on my hair, what product she used on my hair. My hair was defined without frizz for like a whole entire week. I was just like digging my hands through my hair, like 
trying to do everything to get some friends and to get some volume, but it just wasn't happening. But I did appreciate that because I was like, wow, I'm so used to my hair being frizzy AF, but this time I wasn't. So I appreciate the definition. I appreciated the volume, you know, after I did it myself. Um, and I really like how my ends look now. I do think that I have to cut off a little bit more. Um, that's just how I feel. I want it to be a little shorter. I don't know. That's just, I want shorter hair. That's how I feel. So yeah, that is that. I had an amazing experience at Curl Bar. They're always bomb there to me. So if you guys are looking to cut your hair and you guys live in Toronto, check them out. Check Curl Bar out. I will leave again their information down below. Anyways, y'all, let me know what you guys think about my cut down below. Do you guys think I should cut it a little bit more? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and comment down below your experience going to a natural hair salon. Did you have a good one? Did you have a bad one? Let me know in the comment section. Love y'all. Deuces.